Okay, class, the purpose of this video is to walk you all through a given coding, coding bat solution to better give you a better idea of how string functions are used, a string methods are used, and how loops are used. So I'm going to proceed to the string to section of coding bat. And I'm just going to pick Bob there. Okay, now make that a little bit larger for you. Notice how Bob there in string two return true if the given string contains a Bob string, but where the middle O character can be any character. So once you read a problem, if you understand it, great. But if you don't, or even if you think you do, always study the examples. So let's look at the first example here. It says Bob there given A, A B C B O B it says true. So as if the given string contains Bob, so the first thing we have to do is find that Bob is there. But the middle O can be something other than an O. So B nine B is also true, but B A C is not true. So we can't just do a simple index of here. Okay, so look, I'm going to have to, the algorithm that I'm using is that I'm going to go through every letter in each one of these except for the last two. Okay, all right. And if the first letter that I find equals a B, for example, this B, and then I look two ahead, and that also equals a B, I can simply return true. Okay. So, look at what I've done here. Notice that my loop stops at, starts at zero, and I take the length of the string minus two. Why do I subtract two from the length here? Because I'm looking for the first B. My algorithm says to look for the first B, okay? And then it says look two ahead, one, two. So if I find this B and I look two ahead, I'm going to be out of bounds. So to make sure that my loop does not go out of bounds, I can always stop too short to make sure that I can stop here. So I'll, that'll be the last B that I look, that I use to look forward to, and it will make sure I stay in bounds. Okay? So... Again, look at the next example. I will never use this B to look ahead. I will stop at this B only. Uh, this is the only B to get examined because the length of this is three minus two is one. So zero to one is where my loop will end. So look, I get the first letter and I go from I to I plus one. That's gonna get the B from zero to one or the A in this case from zero to one or the B in this third example from zero to one. And letter two will be I plus two to I plus three. So I'm looking ahead from this location, I. I'm gonna look ahead two characters and I'm gonna get from two to three. So that's gonna give me in this case, the C, the B, or the C in the third example. And if letter one equals B, and look at the, and operator equals B, letter two equals B, then return true. If it doesn't, I'll move on to the next letter. So in this case, I'll move on to the next B, and I'll look ahead to the second and third, or the plus two and plus three. Remember, I have to stop two short so that I can stay in bounds so that this statement will be a valid statement every time we execute. This is the statement that will cause a problem. The plus two plus three, if I actually allow my loop to go past that minus two location, because plus two is out of bounds here. Okay, plus two from the nine is out of bounds. Plus two from the A is out of bounds. Okay, when I click test, you can see that all of the cases over here, and I, uh-oh, Bob there when I do a go you can see that it does indeed 
work, okay? Give this a try. Practice a loop, okay? You may need to use an AND operator or an OR operator. An OR operator looks like this, just beneath your backspace, two vertical pipes, okay? I'll go ahead and give it to you. This is the OR operator in the event that you need that, okay? Good luck. See if you all can tackle a couple of problems from the string two section. If you are confident there, you can also get some practice in warm up one. Do not use warm up two, warm up one, string one, and what? Logic one. Logic one will use if, else, and, ors, and nots. And there are several problems here. Notice if there's an H next to the problem, it's a hint. So you can actually use that problem to get started in practice. Good luck.